Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Winds calming down, that's a good thing. We'll still be breezy for the next little bit. Overnight, I expect to see southeast winds 15 to 20 dying down as we move toward dawn. And uh, overnight lows are around 71 to 73 degrees. Temperature trend, oh yeah, nice and warm across the Rio Grande Valley with a valley average high of 95 for Thursday. But notice the drop all the way on down into the low 80s for Friday as a weak frontal boundary moves through. And Saturday, 78 degrees for a valley average high before we start bouncing back early next week. The wind forecast, Thursday not near as windy as Wednesday with sustained winds 15 to 20 miles an hour gusting near 25. Let's break the valley down into few pieces here and we can see a high of 82 for Thursday South Padre Island but 92 Brownsville nice 10 degree jump there the water temperature of 66 along the shore and 70 degree water temperature at the bay helps to keep South Padre Island mighty nice sea fog cannot be ruled out there of course and then you've got 93 to 96 from Harlingen inland to McCallum and then 100 plus out west through Star County. Breezy throughout the valley, as we said. Uh, southeast wind about uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour, gusting near 25. And then future cast takes you through the day Thursday with that southeast wind and mostly clear skies. Very nice, but warm. And then Friday, that frontal boundary comes through in the morning hours and helps to shift winds around. Also may develop a few shower and thunderstorm bits along that front. We'll be looking out for that. I think the best chance will be out over the water where the front passes through. But again, we still have the opportunity for shower and thunderstorm bits across the Rio Grande Valley as that front moves through on Friday. Mild air coming in behind that front. We'll show you that quite well here. Look at Futurecast. Ahead of the front, Thursday, hot. Nice big bullseye of 100 degrees, uh, upper 90s to 100 plus upper valley out to out west. And then look at Friday. See the absence of a big bullseye? Yeah, will be much cooler behind that front. Not cold, but cooler. And then on the backside of all of that, another storm system develops in West Texas and takes on its own identity and slides east across the, uh, across the state. And that will help to develop shower and thunderstorm activity. But a majority of that will be to the north of the Rio Grande Valley. But we will see our opportunity for shower and thunder shower activity sort of rekindle on Sunday. Saturday, some lingering showers in the wake of the first front. Sunday, this whole new storm system, again, rekindles the chance for a shower, a thunder shower, before we end up with some beautiful weather for the start of next week with clear skies and temperatures ranging through the mid to upper 80s. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.